All right, welcome back to part two of the flooded and wrecked 2009 Cadillac CTS. Let's see it. All right. So I have already put the CTS V hood on. I got the CTS V front bumper. And luckily I was able to find matching white too, so it's awesome. And I got CTSV front headlights. I got them on just for like preliminary fits. Did a little pulling of the course port. It's not perfect, but man, I, I gotta tell you, man, these gaps, they are looking good. Look at that front end. But now, I'm about to take it all back apart let you guys watch the whole thing I gotta put the washer bottle back on I think it's sitting over there for the headlight washers too gotta run all those cords I gotta put the absorber on and you know just button it up make it enough oh I also gotta change the spark plug we're gonna you guys gonna we're going to go through changing the spark plugs on a 2009 Cadillac CTS V6. As far as the flooded aspect, we still got to do the sunroof drains. I did. Oh, battery's just connected. Find some corrosion in these plugs. You can see it right there. Ain't no big thing. We'll take care of it. It's not causing any issues right now. The only issue, electrical issue we have is this button and this button are not working. So I'm thinking just replace this whole thing right here. It should be okay. As far as that. Let's get to the time lapse. Here she is, front end put together. Oh, see, it is blowing my mind how good this looks. CTSV front bumper just makes a huge difference. So to do the spark plugs on this thing, we gotta take this bar off. This right here has to come out. Spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. Let's have fun.
All right. Now that she's ready to pass inspection, let's get this lot number off. And there she goes. I just can't get enough of that B run in, guys. Oof. All right, we're here at the inspection station. She is getting tested. Let's see that B run in again, guys. Walk around here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's about to be roadworthy. Well, that sucks, guys. It did not pass. We still got two computers, the EVAP system and the color converters that are not reading yet. Which sucks, because I just drove this thing like 120 miles yesterday. And says I still got to drive 80 more miles so when you look in here I'm not sure if it's the monitors not available that need to be zero or if it's monitors incomplete that need to be zero but once one of those goes to zero then she'll pass inspection but I got 15 days to do it again wish me luck guys wish me luck